All right, let's uh, start our seminar for today. Let's start with the title. Why do you think Lori named this chapter Goodbye Hollywood? You don't have to raise okay, your hand. Okay, I think that um, um, she named it Goodbye Hollywood because it's when she finally exist, exited Hollywood and do not work there anymore. Okay. What do you Anyone, think? Do you agree or disagree? Anyone want to add? So I agree with Jason because in the chapter it talks about how she goes to the medical school and left the Hollywood. Okay, very good. Um, let's uh, recap the timeline, okay? When was the last time that Lori talked about her job in Hollywood? Which chapter was it? Somewhere, Do you still remember? I think somewhere around chapter 6 or something. Uh, let me see. I think it's chapter 4. Okay. Do you still remember the title? Oh, the of smart four? one or the hot one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And in that chapter, she talked about how she um, watched TV and did not care about anything. And it's just like she repeats, I just don't care. In the text. Right, very good. Very good. Uh, that's a very specific detail. Did she change her job during these two chapters? Chapter four. The smart one with the hot one, and this chapter. Was she working in the same job? Um, I remember in chapter four that she was more of like an intern who was working everything and did a lot of hard work, but here she's like a higher rank and like gets more money, gets paid more, and it's also got a better job, I guess. She's writing the script. Yes. Obviously, she was promoted. She was not, no longer an entry-level assistant, right? But more importantly, did she change industry? The so. first job is in Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. And now, where was she at? What's the name of the company? NBC. NBC, right? NBC. Is there a difference between NBC and Hollywood? Are they the same thing? Hollywood is for movies and stuff. Oh, uh, can okay, pass the mic? Thank you, Jason. Um, I'm not really sure, but I think Hollywood is about making movies and stuff. And NBC, I think, is perhaps part of the Hollywood that makes uh, film, like, like TV shows. Very good. Like Friends and ER, right? The biggest difference between movies and TV series is what? There's a series of it. M movie is only a very short film, which lasts normally from one hour to two hours, yeah. right? How about TV series? It's very long. Some is, most of it is very long. Do you know how many seasons that Friends last? I think 10 seasons, okay? So it's a very long story, okay? And which job did Lori prefer? Movies or TV series? TV series. Okay, can you tell us more why? Because, I think because... I think she mentioned this a little bit in chapter four. Do you remember? She said she was frustrated when she was making a movie. Can someone re recall the details? Why was she frustrated? She don't like it, maybe? I will give you a little hint. She said, usually, how, how, how many years does it take to make a movie? The From the beginning? Two years. Two years. Several years. And she doesn't like it. Why? And in other words, what does she want when she's telling a story? More money. Money? No. Are you sure? No. 
So what does she want? Why did she change jobs from making movies into making TV series? You look like you have something to say. Maybe because like she focused on the stories, and with the series, she can like know the stories more. Know the stories more, or tell the stories more. Tell the stories more. Okay, and why is TV series better than movies? Because movie, you're just like focusing on like one big story.、Mm -hmm. It's like one story, and you only know it when you get to the end. And then everything makes sense. But TV series, like、uh, I, I think Friends, it's like、um, it's like comedy, and you don't really need to know the entire plot and setting and stuff. Mhm.、Mm、and let me remind you the ending of Chapter Four. So everybody, look at the、uh, mix up for a second. Okay. Read. Can someone read the the last line here? This line. Into the mic, please. Um, it would take years for me to realize that I. The last two sentences. Okay. It seems like the perfect solution to my bo boredom.、Mm -hmm. It would take years for me to realize that I'd solved the wrong problem. Very good. Do you still remember this line? Nope. So this is at the end of chapter four. When she just made the change from Hollywood into the TV series industry, okay. So, when she says it seemed like the perfect solution, what does it represent? Changing. Changing, Changing the job from movie into NBC. NBC, right? It seemed to be the perfect solution, but actually, was it the perfect solution? Think no. Why? It isn't, cause、uh, Joe kind of said、uh, that it seems like she didn't like. She was more interested in medical stuff than making TV shows. Okay, very good.、Um, let's go back to chapter eleven. Okay, so when she just started the job in NBC, was she happy? I think so. Like、the first week.、Oh. How did she feel when she just started in the first week? Coco, do you have anything to say? Jenny, let's find the paragraph. Okay, the first,、uh, the beginning from the、uh, chapter. My first week working at NBC, I was assigned to a two show,、uh, to two shows that were about. To premiere ER and、uh, medical drama and Friends and sitcom, okay. Does she talk about her feelings at first? No. 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 Okay, nothing. But what do we assume when she just started the job? She feels a little bit excited. Yeah. Okay. And as the work goes on, how does she feel? What happened during the job? Who's the main character in this chapter? Joe. Joe. Okay, who's Joe? Can you tell us more? So, there was one day that、uh, there was one day that the ER writers encountered a medical problem, and、uh, Joe went up and fixed the problem. And after that,、uh, the ER writers hired him to help them help them with all the. Medical problems,、mm -hmm. and so they became they became comrades, and、uh, so Joe found out that Lori was more interested in medical stuff than in making TV shows. How did Joe find out that? I forgot.、Um, I'd、um, like to hear from somebody who hasn't spoken yet. You yeah, seem、uh, more interested louder, in what we're doing. Here then, in your day job, Joe said one evening, months after, months later, as we took, as we looked at an X-ray together, and he showed me where the fracture was. I think this his statement came from because Laurie keep on um going with him to the ER 
like with them to watch him do his job and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, did Lori realize that she's actually more into the ER than her job? Probably not because um, the next uh, paragraph she's talk she talk about like she's satisfied with her job and stuff. Mm -hmm. Her job at NBC. So was she lying to herself? Maybe not exactly lying. She's just she doesn't realize. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Jesus. <coughs> Uh, Coco, do you have anything to add? Okay. Um, I think that she's totally not lying to herself, but just trying to create the illusion of being happy. Can you explain more? It's like that's what most people like to do. It's when you are unhappy, like when I, especially uh, when I lost something I've, that feels important to me, uh, I make myself feel or tell myself that it's not lost, it's just there. Um, it makes me try to go on. Okay. I think she is just trying to let herself go on and not just like, Oh, I'm hopeless. I'm just going to end my life. I think that's a very good observation. Okay. Do you mean go on with her life? Yes. Yeah, okay. See. Very good. But isn't that a way of lying to herself? Maybe. Okay. I think there's uh, multiple interpretations. Okay. So you can call that lying or you can call that go on with life. Okay. Maybe she just haven't hasn't realized that yet. Okay. All right. So, uh, what made her decide to eventually go to medical school? You all, I want to make sure that you all know what medical school is first. Okay. You all know medical. School. Yes. And how long does it take in medical school? Medical school before you become a doctor. Four to five years. I think six years. Or about six years. Six years. Yeah, no, I think at least six correct. years in the U.S. Okay. And is it difficult or very difficult? It's very difficult because you have to go through different types of like tests, and you have to be. You, they have to make sure that you're a good, like to doctor that you can actually work and save people. Okay. Is that U.S. four years? Yeah, U.S. Is that master graduate school or undergraduate? They just said four years. Okay. But you have to make sure it's four years after college or four years after high school. Typically, last four years, but it's generally followed by a resistance and potential a fellowship. Okay. All right. Um, so medical medical school is very hard and um, the competition is very fierce, okay? And when Joe initially suggested that she should go to medical school and become a doctor, what is her first reaction? Um, she's nuts. Did she say, yes, I should definitely go? No. Why not? Jenny, you, guys, you have been uh, awfully quiet today. Um, so like, I think this chapter is like, how she's slowly switching from her job at NBC to being an ER. Because, like, if you look at the start of the story, she was very surprised when Joe first suggested it. But, like, as the chapter kind of unfolds, like, she experiences more, and at the end, um, there's a quote. Instead of taking these stories I witness and folding them back to my world as a network, I want a real life, real people to be in my world. I think that's her being, like, very, she's starting to think about how Friends is just like a fake community and ER is like life and death but fictional. So like the story is about how she's like going from very uncertain to being very certain. And like at the very, very last sentence it's, but somehow I decide I'm going to make this happen. And I can't do that while working 60 hours weeks on must-see TV. And that's her like quitting her job. So there is a progress, right? Yes. So initially when she uh, heard the suggestion that she should go to medical school. Her reaction was, 
No, I can't do that. Why not? What's causing her hesitation? Can I find the details? Um, it says on, I think, the uh, one, two, three, on the third page, uh, the last, oh, no, wait, uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the paragraph. Can I read the line? I was 28 years old. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Why is that relevant to her hesitation? She's, she was 28 years old. She thinks she's too young. She thinks she's too old for going back to school. Okay. Um, what do you think? Do you think 28 is too late or too old for medical school? Oh, no. What is the usual age when you should go, go to medical school? Um, I feel like it's not just age because she also mentions that she's got that she has a major in language and not um, and not medics and math. But she has, yeah, medical. So there's multiple reasons, okay? One is her age, another is her previous experience. So what major do you have, well, what courses or what subjects do you have to be familiar with before going to medical school? Medical school. Yes, what, sh what should you take in high school? if you want to become a doctor? Biology. Very good. AP Biology, right? What else? Science, math. Yeah, something in science or involves experiments, right? AP math. All right. And then who's the one that helped her to determine that she should definitely go to medical school? Joe. Joe. Joe or the patient? The patient. Oh. Can you Talk, talk more. Because it is the moment she interacts with the patient, like the patient holds her hand, and then she's like, I'm going to medical school. Okay, tell us more. Why is the simple act of holding her hand that help her decide to go to medical school? Um, in the text, she says that it's because she, the woman is saying, like, I know this is hard to watch, but it's okay, even though she's the one who should be holding her hand and stuff. And she's probably, like, um, emotionally affected. Okay, why is she emotionally affected? Jenny, do you have anything to say? Um, why is she touched by that simple act of holding hands? Um, because, like, she's the woman who's got a massive and because like the patient is the person with a massive infection and also the one who's got missing missing limbs but like she she's she is she thinks that it's very hard to watch and the fact that she's supposed to she's supposed to be the one comforting the patient but it's actually the other way around very so you so who's the doctor here who's the Lori is not a doctor yet Okay, but she's shadowing another doctor. So who should comfort who? Um, Lori should comfort the patient. Lori has the responsibility to comfort the patient. But in reality, who was comforting her? The patient. The patient. So that's what made her so touched, right? And that helped her to decide that she should definitely enter this industry or profession.